is bars and beyond. The stars is aligned. Sports relationships and rap. They said it would be hard to combine. Part in the shine. Pick them out. We find the largest to climb. Welcome to another dope episode of Bars and Beyond. I am DeMarco275. I am Courtney Levitt. And we have a dope, dope guest in the building. His name is Prince oh. Natty from the Natty. What's good, fam? What's going on, brother? How y'all yeah. doing today? I'm yeah. great. How are you? I'm pretty good. I can't good. complain. I can't complain. Appreciate it. We finally made it happen, man. We have to put the dot, connect the dots. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because we've been trying to get him like two months. Uh, good yeah, back this, and forth like two months. The schedule was real. Real, I mean, man. you grind us. I'm not mad. Yeah. Now I'm a little mad behind you. Yeah. Yeah. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> yeah, yeah man. So, uh, you got a single out. Talk to me. Tell me a little about a little bit about your single, man. I mean, I live in Atlanta now, so, I mean, you got to be adapt to Word the strip up. club culture. Word so, you know what I'm saying? Word like... Up. My brother Chase, he had an idea, yeah. and he said the idea, he just seen somebody in upside down with legs shaking. Like, he seen that. Yeah. So, oh, we went in the studio with the homie oh. X. We went in the studio with him, and then that's when he just came up with the joint. So, that's when I, like, in my head, I was like, got a stack of five and a stack of one. Write that down. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> that's it. Write that down. And then that's when we just came with it, you know. And then it was organic, for real. Like, because okay. that same, in that same week, we were doing a promo run for colleges back home. Oh, okay. And then, so, from there, we recorded it, and then we came back. I opened up for Cardi back home. Oh, and that's, that's, when we had, that's, that's when we had the radio meeting yeah. that day. And they was like, yo, what's that? That one right there? That's it. Yeah. And then they start playing it. Oh, like, the day we put it out, crazy. they start playing yeah, it. that's what's up. So, it was just like organic like happen, yeah. yeah like you know other times you be trying to push a record for a year and a half yeah. the second it came out they put it on like Don Juan for sure he put it on his like for sure for not like how to not segment right they right. were calling in yeah, it was funny. yeah I was at work so I was getting the messages late like huh right. like, <laughs> it's crazy I though. mean that's always good you know like it work just doing regular work shit no but, like, uh, but, hey, but by the way your song won yo, right, I didn't, exactly right. like I didn't know like I didn't know they was gonna do it or nothing mm -hmm. so I'm just getting bro I just heard the song and we right. just put it out at 10 a.m. Damn, so it was at 3 p.m. Oh, it was oh, at 3 p.m. Wow. They did it. Like, yeah. So I'm That's like, crazy. bro, we got six plays. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, and then it's like, oh, shit, it's on the radio. Like, like, it just happened. Shut up. So, yeah, it was dope. So it was just super organic. So it was just, Damn. you know, yeah. just fell in place for real. Literally. Damn. How'd so, you end up on the Cardi, uh, opening for Cardi? We did, I said we did the college promo run. So it was um, August 21st. Mm -hmm. It was when University of Cincinnati, Xavier University, and NKU all started school. Oh, so we was okay. like, okay, cool. we got to let it be known. This my city. Right. Like, just if you ain't yeah. know. Yeah. So we got the LED truck, like the the uh, the, the big U-Haul. Oh, like with the, the, like the oh, U-Haul. Yeah, yeah, but it played the videos. Played my videos. Wow. We had it all day. So we was at UC oh, from, 10 to, from 10 to 12. We was at Xavier from 12 to 2. We was at NKU from 3 to 5. Right. And then we was at NKU. During the eclipse, so they was outside filming already. Oh, the clip. We ain't even we ain't that, that like clip. Perfect, yeah. we, that we ain't playing it at all. But they was like, oh, right? that's dope. That's <laughs> so from there, this yeah. is dope, but this is dope too. So right? yeah, so, <laughs> so then shout out to Stan. He do all the shows at the Avenue. Like he okay. get a lot of the artists. He okay. was like, bro, where you at? Yeah. The next day, I was mm -hmm. at home for a week. He pulled up on me like, how y'all do that? Yeah. I was like, we can't tell you that. Change. But yeah, that then that's when he was like, all right, y'all you y'all getting it like that. I need you on it. So yeah. that's how we ended up getting the Cardi. And then the Cardi show was the same week she had number one. So like I said, everything about everything this record fell, fell into place perfect. Right, right on the money. Fell into place perfect. Oh, everything about this wow. record. That's kind of how you know it's supposed to happen exactly. when it just start rolling like Everything that, happened like that. Like it started, like I, I said, we recorded it that same week. We did mm -hmm. the college promo that same week. Mm -hmm. Then when I flew back, we had the radio. They liked it. Everything came like that. Ain't nothing ever happened in my career like that. Damn. Wow. That, wow. Hey, I mean, let you know, man, it's just sometimes it's them signs, you know what I'm saying, to let you know when you got like a bunch of them mm -hmm. in a row. Like you know straight, all of them within a month. Whew. I mean, that was summertime, so it was a really stripper time. Like, it's yeah. stripper Oh, yeah, definitely. Right now, so uh, song is we really were just in the like... flame last night, and they dropped it. And it's always a thing. Like, it's always a look, because it's like, and of course, we got the clean and the dirty version. Right, so it's right. like, the clean version, people love to dance to it. The strip club culture is more popping it nationally is. now. So it's right. like, right, yeah. we got both sides. We got the semi, you know, car the Caucasian people. That's a little more, like... They were uptight, but right. now they're more open to it. And then, of course, you got the ratchets. So oh, yeah. now it's working. Course, That's all day. Yeah, it's working. Ratchets is all day. Um, I was uh, like, I think... We were what was this, like two weeks ago? I think we had an episode where we were talking about like do's and don'ts like in the rap game. And like I was talking about if you, especially like if you're in the South, like 
you have to fuck with the strip club. Got gotcha. Like, if your song doesn't have bang in the strip club, a, a stripper, strippers are, not strippers are A&Rs now. Apparently. Yeah. Because I mean, like, if a stripper ain't moving to it, yeah. then it is what it is. Like that, and that's why I always will be. I'll ask, like, cause I follow a few. I'll be like, hey, listen to this. Just let me know what you think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, if you got a minute, like, and, right. and they'd be like, okay, I vibe to it. I can do something to it, or nah, I right. can't even do nothing with yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. So for the response with this was, yeah, I got it. And then oh, now the follow up okay. to this was, you really got it. Yeah. yeah so yeah, we yeah. already like working on the next joint, so we can finish this project yeah. and everything too. Okay. Yeah. So what's the name of the project? Free before twelve. Free before. Oh, for the lady. <laughs> Yo. Uh, ah, yeah, well, yeah. I say that's probably like the best day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three for 12. And, um, and, we, 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 and we're putting together a show right now, too. So it's going to be, everybody, you, you better come yeah, on. We'll Three for 12. 12. So yeah. we're doing that. It's and like then pretty the, girls the, like trap music. Yeah, period. Yeah, so we're doing like Three before 12 and then the follow-up is Speed Daddy. Uh, oh, yeah. All I drop is singles. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's the move. That's so dope. That's the move. That is so dope. Because I always say this. You know, in this era, it's all about having that one single. You Fact. get the one single, you get the you get the machine behind you you want, then you can put an album together and but, do what you want. But that's why people was asking, like, why you ain't dropped the project in years? I'm like, if I can't get them to focus on one record, right. they're not gonna focus on two. Yeah. So Facts. Yeah, so Facts. once we got once we figured it out, it was like we seen where we was going. Mm-hmm. So free before twelve. Free it's just 14. all records for the ladies. Oh, like, like all records for the ladies. Absolutely. That's man. dope. Absolutely. I like that. So when you work when are you trying to release that? Uh we're looking at July twenty fifth. July. Thank you for having an actual date. Because I hear people be like, oh, man, you know, mid-summer, late-summer. Yeah. So what at, is that? I don't even know what I can go on my it's iCloud. A, it's, a, it's a couple of, uh, like, um, you got... Macy's Music Fest in Cincinnati. Macy's, Macy's. That's that same weekend. AKA used to be called the Jazz Fest. Used to be good. Everybody knew that. It's like. So it was not a Jazz Fest anymore. No, it, it was never Jazz. It was never Jazz. It, it's, it's like called. Essence for Cincinnati. Exactly. Like, oh, it's like that. Exactly. So it's like, that's a big weekend. Yeah. And oh. we're trying to bring. Cause it's mostly R and B, so we try. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying. I'm talking to a few people. We trying to put a big hip hop show together for that. Okay. That'll be dope. That would be super dope. And then, so if I drop the album on that Friday, the show will be that Saturday. Oh, okay. So okay. Cool. That's yeah. what we're trying. We, we made the process. Okay. I got a few things in the works for making it happen. A couple just getting the sponsors together right now. That's it. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you so know. you're going back to Cincinnati for that? I mean, I go back home once a month. Like oh, I always so got a show. Like I'm back home next month, next week for the for the video release party. Oh so, damn! Like so, I'm, I'm back home once a month, and then I'm here is just you know grinding mm-hmm. it out. Brandy, Brandy, like, Brandy. You know what I'm saying? Because home, I don't have to worry about my business partner there. Yeah, so, so okay. cool. Okay. Like so, like he keeping my name hot. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? And then the radio, both radio stations, iHeart and Radio One, working it. Speaking now. of the radio stations. Uh, Chase told me about the situation with the country music station, and they heard. Yeah, the it was, song a, it was, was a, like it was a rock station. So tell me, but tell us about that. So Chase dropped off the record. It's iHeartRadio. Just he dropped it off mm-hmm. iHeartRadio uh, to the homie uh, Josh Martinez. Okay. He's a program director for Kiss One Hundred and Seven. Okay. He dropped it off to him for One Hundred Two Three to B. Okay. So Josh had it, put it somewhere. Kid Chris, shout out to Kid Chris. He yeah. W E B N. It's a rock station, rock. straight rock. Mm-hmm. Like it's hard to play. He yeah, found yeah. it. And then anybody from Cincinnati, they like the name. Prince right. Like, who is it? Prince who is Cincinnati. That? So from there, yeah. they was talking about it, and then they played it. Uh-huh. And then played it again. And then played it again. And then wanted me to call in. But and some talk to me? Yeah. Okay. So from there, like the on first the play, rock somebody station. on the rock station. So from there, <laughs> this was in February. So from there, some, uh, one of my DJ homies was like, bro, they playing you on WEBN. And I'm like, the rock station? Yeah, oh, I thought you was throwing like, what the fuck? So from there, it was like they just went ahead and then I called in and they was like super cool with it. And like they was joking around mm-hmm. on some goofy stuff, but they played it four times. So yeah. from there, they was like, when the next time you in town? Yeah, and yeah. I was, um, I did a show with the Red Deshaun. Okay. And that was okay. like, right, that was the week after my birthday. So I had a birthday party, that. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I'll be in town on March 9th. Okay. I came Are you in. Pisces? Yeah. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. <laughs> so sorry, they had. Sorry, yeah. sorry, <laughs> sorry. My birthday February 28th. So we got that. I got it down. So you like a weird Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> like a real Pisces. Okay. I mean, whatever. You know. Fine, fine. And, and you're what, leap year, baby? No, that's the 29th. I'd have to be a year earlier. Oh. Oh. I had to be born. I had to be born in '88, and then it would have been. Oh. been I'd, I'd be seven, and not thirty. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but that's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah so it was like they had they had me in studio. Like I did a full interview, and then they had somebody come up and dance and talk to me to win concert tickets. And what? like yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, it's out on our radio website and everything. Like they showed the love portion of it, but yeah. that, I was like, wow. Yeah, they showed love strictly yeah. off the strength, and then yeah. they just happened to like it. That's and then dope. from dope. there, it's like all the rappers just like, hey, well, how you do that? So, yeah. mm-hmm. And then that turned, I actually ended up meeting with the homie Josh. So now okay. Josh got me on 103 to beat as well. That's turning into Columbus, Ohio, right. which turned into Cleveland, Ohio, which 
It all right. came from Kid Chris showing that, love from that rock station. Damn. So everything is really just rolling, rolling, rolling. Again, man. one of them things where it just happens. It just yeah. happens. It just happens. Yeah, because like, what are the odds that somebody finds your Facts. song for a rock station and they play it on the rock station? On the rock station. Because I mean, you can listen to it, but like... You know, like they was like, right. no, we're going to play this live. Yeah. Boom. Crazy. And then I seen it. Like, I didn't know how... Like, you know, I don't know. I didn't know his market at the time. Of course. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking like, you know, you got, you know, the truck driving Caucasian dudes. <laughs> make, that, make that talk to me. <laughs> like vibing, like posting their videos. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah we made a talk to me challenge out of that. Like, like I, we got a lot of videos for that. You should make it a talk to me challenge. I know, we yeah, definitely yeah. are. No, yeah, it, I, got, I got a couple of them. Like, I'm trying to figure it out because there's a couple of people that want to do remake this. So I'm just okay. like, go ahead. See, well, let me know what you got. Then right. there's a couple girls that just want to dance to it. Like, well, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So we go, yeah. sure. Do what you do what you do. Yeah. You got it. Everybody don't want to show some love. You know what I'm saying? It's like you should talk to um, was it Lil Bankhead? Because I think that's like him and um, and um, infamous. infamous, infamous, yeah. Yep. Infamous. You should hit them up. Like I'm gonna see. We were just having one on three uh, yesterday. Okay, cool. So yeah. uh, I'm gonna see what's up. I'm gonna see what's up. Definitely should do that. I think that's a good. Yeah, look. I'm gonna see. It's just you know it's catching people. So oh, once yeah. we got more momentum after these next few moves, that's when I'm gonna reach out and okay. see. You know, yeah, right. like that would be major. It have would. Infamous and, and Bankhead. Bankhead. Like, and I'm RC. already and what we already got with the another station. So right. That's getting all three. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's that's the whole triangle right there. Oh, yeah. like, that's that's really all you so need. Basically, you, you have like the summer soda. Yeah. Basically, is what you're saying. Basically, look like it. It looks like it. Looks like you. you it know, looks like it. fucked up the summer. You know, in a good way. I think yeah. After we drop it, like after these moves in June, mm-hmm. and then we drop in July. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying. Like I, I was telling people, like I was, I'm trying to see. If, I'm trying to get on that meat tour. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that would be when, epic. I'm trying to get on that tour. Just, yeah, listen, when you when you come nice. to Atlanta, don't forget. Right. <laughs> no, no, of course not. I want to come to the show. Y'all, my first radio <laughs> interview in Atlanta. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what's up. We're yeah, gonna, y'all, my yeah, first radio interview in Atlanta. Yeah, we're shout gonna we're gonna set it up. Shout this out to the This is an epic show. Y'all remember this show because it's epic. When y'all hear Princeton Natty nationwide on the rotation, everybody fucking with that. Talk to me. It was bars and beyond first, fly 935 first. Facts. Ooh. Know that. You know Facts. Know yeah. I'm saying y'all my first radio interview in Atlanta. That's, That's dope. dope. Facts. That's dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so tell us about Fresh Fraternity. What's Fresh Fraternity? It's the brand. It's a lot. It was like uh, me and a couple people, we came up with it because I didn't go to a four-year college, but I always seen like the, 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 the bond and the brotherhood mm-hmm. and what they did for the community. Right. So it was like, right. we do music, but it's more than just music. Like. Mm-hmm. Like, one of my homies, we got a skateboarder we sponsoring. Like, I'm trying to do, like, my little brother's basketball teams. Like, mm-hmm. we trying to do more for the community than just the average regular. Yeah, yeah So, and then it's like, so we just start putting it on shirts. But then oh, people okay. start, like, actually rocking with it. So then okay. it's like, it's a brand, actually, where we starting the clothes thing as well. But then, like I said, I'm trying to do, like, one of my brothers is autistic. So we got, we starting the Autism Foundation and his name through that as well. Gotcha. So gotcha. it's yeah. not just music. It's right. really what we're trying to do to help Cincinnati. Just overall. Yeah. Just for the like a fraternity. Like, like, uh member of the Divine Nine would do for what the community, they, whatever yeah. college they in. Oh, that's dope. That's major. dope. That's major right there. I need some fresh fraternity clothes. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> y'all you? could make the fresh sorority, but you know. We were looking at sexy sororities, <laughs> but we, we got to talk to people, though. But you I can, know, but we, like, definitely get you to, we definitely get you together. Yeah. I mean, it's a little warm now because we was doing the tracks and it's heavy. Oh, so oh, like, now we got to, we just, we figuring out really what we're going to do when it's hot. It's a little, it's hot. little tank tops, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. We get yeah. you, we make sure we get you together. Yeah. I should have the first fresh sorority shirt. Like, I need that one. We got to, we got something in June. I'll tell you off air. And I make sure you there. Oh yeah, I'm and your fresh oh, right yeah. head to toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that'd be a great look. I know, but I'm cool like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. So the video's dropping soon. The video's dropping uh, uh, on Friday. On Friday. Friday, Friday the 18th. Okay. Who shot the visuals for that? Uh, the homie Dre shot this. Um, he does a lot. Oh, uh, Dre shot this. He's yeah, he's from Dayton. Yeah, yeah. He, just, he just moved to Cincinnati. He, he just moved. He just moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did pick it up. Beats for me too. No, he made a beast with the beast. I heard he did. I heard he did. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. He just moved like two weeks ago because what? business picked up. That that's much. what's up. Yeah. So he's just 100. percent He gonna be down here in June for what I'm. Oh yeah. We he gonna be down here for that too. That's the homie. That's what's up. And he, and he just really started shooting and got good really fast. Yeah. He's really dope. It's all about. It's yeah. all about his connections that he got, mm-hmm. and it's about his equipment. True. He has a, he has amazing cameras. Okay. And then he had like it's it's the cameras and the lights. Okay. So okay. you see what I'm saying? Because after that you can edit whatever. That's facts. Yeah. Right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Absolutely. So he like so he got good stuff. And then he's open to, but he's not just yo I'm shooting this. Nah, he'll right. let you bring yeah. in your input. Like I came up with the treatment. He liked it. So then from there it was like all right, we really work together. Oh, okay. So you yeah, so, treatment all by yourself. Uh, me and Chase, we came up That's with the idea because it was like we had a few ideas we were bouncing off of. So okay. with it being talked to me, we shot it in the call center. 
Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we gotta make it. We still gotta make it respectable. So, <laughs> if, if MTV ever start back playing videos, yeah, I don't yeah, play mine. What's that about? Like, why does no one play That's videos crazy. anymore? Like, like, if they ever start back. Yeah, I think I'm prepared. YouTube, I think YouTube put them out of business though. It's like Vivo, everybody just goes like straight Vivo to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Vivo, yeah. Nah, but they brought back TRL though. Oh, yeah, did? but they didn't get removed. Oh, okay. They didn't. Mm-mm. They didn't even give that one year. That's crazy. Yeah, because yeah, DC Young Fly was on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I mean, you gotta think about the culture of MTV. I mean, in uh, TRL, but like that? it was like pop culture. Facts. Mm-hmm. And music isn't really pop culture anymore. Like, people aren't fangirling over Selena Gomez. Like, they used to fangirl over NSYNC. True, but so even with that, though, I think 106 could have stayed. Because that was a that was a thing. Like, it was like a real culture. Yeah. It seemed like thing. it was like a thing for yeah. the black community. Yeah, I mean, I'm working, I'm working on something for something, like, we gotta okay. get it going. Yeah, I'm, there, working on, I'm working on some things. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah, magic. Have, like, she okay. said she's the first person, the first person, sexy. So right? I mean, I'm not even. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Some barter, some barter, system here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like the culture needs that. It does. Because it's right. like when you go to New York, if you ain't on the Breakfast Club, you kind of it's like well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you got it. If you don't hit Breakfast Club and holla, uh, oh man, bro. It's like you're or Vlad, or Vlad, or Angie Martinez, something like that. I don't know. I mean, Vlad to me. You don't necessarily have to like Vlad, but he's still that platform is still crazy. The platform is crazy, but I don't like. You're how talking to Vlad. I might be able to get on Vlad, and this is fifty. So well, yeah, yeah. Really, really, I just really. don't like how Vlad do his his people that do the interviews for him. I mean, that the kind people of, that do. Yeah. yeah. The only thing about that is you got to give him that ammo. Yeah. Like, think about it. Like, can't nobody flip nothing I say unless I say it. Yeah. Or can't nobody flip a story unless yeah. I tell it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if he know it, he gonna try to get you to see what's up with yeah. that, and he trying to get them clicked flat, yeah. flat yeah. out. Yeah. And he have his people to do it. For yeah. Him. yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, crazy like for he's an inter- he's an interview him. version of World Star. Period. Yeah. Because <laughs> right. I, I hit him like this is a couple years ago. Like, oh, you know how do how do you get down doing interviews for Vlad? Right. He's like, oh, do the interview, send it to me. Basically. What? Yeah. You get the interview, you send it to us. So a lot of the work he not really doing. Of course not. So it's Man. like I just I mean, but that's, that, like you're but getting that's, all the credit. You're getting all the credit. But that's with a lot of stuff though. Like, yeah, I hate it. It's, it's a, a lot thing. of stuff that's it's just yeah. the person on top getting the credit. Yeah. yeah. And he exactly. don't shout yeah. you out at the end or none mm-hmm. of that. It's just yeah, they nah, see it. You, you just keep see the artist. Yeah. yeah. And that's what Nah, but I'm but you say he do that because he that that's what got done to him. Like because he used to do like production and films and stuff. And he like he said he never got a check. Like oh. They took his film and was like, "Holla at you! What you gonna do yeah. about it? Thanks. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? Thank right, you. Right. Like you know what I'm saying, like he did like the Superhead documentary. He filmed that. What? Oh wow, really? Didn't get a dime. Damn. <laughs> that, like Superhead was like. Man, didn't she, get a dime. Yeah, she was uh, everywhere. So yeah, oh, like <laughs> so he just so you know how that is like. Pay you, dudes. you gotta you gotta pay your dudes to get it on, but right. and you can tell everybody if they believe they believe or not, not but that's something yeah. I don't know. I mean, we I mean but even right. if you get the Vlad interview, like that's major for you. Absolutely. Definitely, yeah, that's definitely. Huge. So we work, we trying to figure that out. We're gonna uh, trying to take yeah. the trip. We got DC at the end of June. Oh, okay. So we trying to see like we might set up New York in August. So yeah. we're trying to see Ooh. how we can make that round, make them rounds. That'd be great. That'd be great. I got a question for you, man. I seen a yeah. picture on Instagram the other day. Well, not yesterday. Today, matter of fact. And it was a picture of Lil Uzi Vert and Young Thug. <laughs> and it looked like they was at Wind Down Wednesdays exchanging <laughs> stories about they Me Too. <laughs> and they bosses putting their hands on them or something. I don't know. It just looked really weird. I don't know if you've seen that picture. Mm-hmm. What, do you, what do you think about our culture in the hip hop on the hip hop side and that part of our culture that's like becoming a trending thing? They ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't knock nobody for what they do, but they ain't got nothing to do with me in my life. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, like I said, trends trends fade out. Yeah, as long as you stay you and you straight, like I'm yeah. not, you're not gonna see me like that. Right. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not gonna knock them for what they do. Like that's thug. Yeah. That's yeah. been thug. It been thug. Day so one, I mean, if know. that's him, it's like yeah. man, he gonna do it when it ain't hot or when it is hot. Like so yeah. I, yeah. that's just that's not true. happening. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, I'm just so me and my brand and the days. people that watch me and the people I'm a role model to, they're not gonna see that for me. Right, yeah. right, right. That's that's me. That's Thank how you. I feel for real. I don't see like I said, like I got three, I got three younger brothers. My brothers is 17, 12, and eight. So just oh, in regard, damn. yeah. So just in regards to how I need to move, mm-hmm. I'm gonna show them a different way. Like I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what and I'm gonna show them that it's not just to get the likes or the clicks. I got to do mm-hmm. something extra. Yeah. Like if that's if you doing you, cool. 
Yeah. But somebody gonna follow that that it ain't them, but they just trying to get their name up, just trying to get their buzz out. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna show my other brothers that it's me, and I'm gonna be me, and I'm gonna do it regardless. Yeah. yeah. And it's gonna work. So it's just yeah. just do you. Like now, if that's naturally you, go ahead. But there's a lot of people that's fake. That's it's the gimmick. It's the gimmick to get on. That's to the be problem. like, what yeah. was it? Nicki Minaj wearing like those crazy suits and crazy hair when she first started. Sure. I mean, Nicki Minaj may be in by popping. A lot yeah. of these chicks that saying my best friend and grabbing butts and yeah, kissing and stuff not was not gay. doing that before yeah, 2010. That's, that's true. Either. It's like they, she created that. Because so if you yeah. like, because I've been with some people like, what's up? Like you really about? And then they be, nah, I ain't about that. Then don't perpetrate don't, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't perpetrate that because there's people out here that's really living that struggle. Like yeah. it, when it wasn't promoted to be popping. Right. Yeah. They was so, really on yeah. that for real. Right. That's like, my in the LGBT. That's why a lot of people take offense to stuff like that. Yeah, Cause it's like sure. they live in a struggle yeah. that they had the, when it wasn't hot it wasn't right. and they were getting emasculated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, yeah. At the end of the day, you are, you know, like with the Kanye West situation, regardless of whether you want to accept the responsibility or not, it's people that are looking up to you and Facts. following your pattern, whether you they like it or not. They come, come with the game. They come with the game. So if that's yeah. your troop and that's what you are, cool. just say what it is and this what it is and people got a choice where they want to mm-hmm. follow, but don't do it just because it's a wave and it's different from everybody right. else and it's getting you a lot of likes, you know what I'm saying? Facts. So. I mean, that's just like men dressing up as women, but you know how hey, I mean, that, again, that's them. Like the they ain't got nothing to do with me. The comedians oh, like when I'm yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's but crazy because like it's, it's some dudes like. that I really was like, because I don't follow that. Like, I have a rule. Like, I don't follow any dude that don't follow me. Right. Like, I just, see, I can't me either. Do it. I can't follow yeah. somebody that just don't follow yeah. me, don't interact with me. I don't right. see the point. Yeah, yeah. No point. But it was people I was interacting with back and forth, and then they started that wave, and then, okay, I see if you did one or two. Right. That's all they do now. Yeah. But it takes away from, like, are you really funny? Exactly. And now it's like, I don't know if you're really funny or if you need this to be. It's, like, the, Superman. it's it. like Superman. Right. If I don't have this costume on, I can't perform yeah, but, my but, superpowers. But yeah, people need whole gimmicks just to get the get, just to get the views. Yeah. If you, I'd rather you just be you and be, be organic, funny. Yeah. Yeah. Be organically funny. It and works. that's just entertainment in general, especially mm-hmm. rap more than anything. It's mm-hmm. like the gimmicks are taken away from are you a raw talent. That's why we always got to love a J. Cole. This nigga's the most regular oh. nigga in the world to me. But his bars and the music yeah, the is talent, there. Talent, it's all talent. Way. It's nothing else but talent that you can that you can grab onto. But that's why that's why you try. You gotta like I let like even though I quote unquote drop singles or drop stuff for ladies. Mm-hmm. Don't get it twisted. I still have these bars. Yeah, that's yeah. what. Yeah. Like, which, but which you gotta like, be able which to rap. You, got, to, yeah, you, to, you to, have to be <laughs> able to rap. Like, Period. That's like what I'm saying because eventually that's when that's when you're going up or Charlemagne or Ebro or somebody gonna be like. Next, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like it's very rare that you have a machine if you can't show that you still have that ability. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. usually that's when they be like, "Whoa, that's when you see what happened with Trinidad. That didn't last that Whoa, long. Whoa, exactly, exactly. That did not last that long. Exactly. Designer. And, and yeah. I even like Trinidad's project though. Oh really? What? His whole, his good. entire album. What? That females on Walker? To be honest, he said my side, I bitch, my main bitch, cause my main hoe ain't feeling me no more. He had oh, records. I remember that. He I had that records. Joint. He had about four or five. What? Yeah. And the record, it was only ten songs. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. just, but he couldn't follow up. Wow. But that was where I didn't even know he dropped the project. Yeah, but that was yeah, that don't be safe. But that was when he had to hone his craft. Right. And right. he never had time to. Remember, they said he has just been rapping for eight months. Like he Literally, never had time just, to hone his craft yeah. and get better. Sometimes you take off so quick, it's it like, like, you don't like have that time. whole Cardi thing, like she and it was like zero to one thousand. Nah. Nah, no, because her no, mix she takes, dropped like nine mixtapes. Yeah, the mixtapes oh. weren't nowhere near no the level of what was uh Bodak. It was she, like the she level. Was, that was a mixtape record too, though. Like she was just throwing stuff out. Like she, yeah. she was just consistent. But that record and then was completely yeah. different from all. I, Cause I had Cardi mixtape. Yeah, yeah, I fucked with Cardi prior to. Nah, it was game. that dude. Nah, it was the production. Swift gave her a different sound. Yeah, yeah he did. That so, was different for her, and she had to rap different. So it happened. And, and too, and now like, you look at Swift. Safari moving now off that same Swift type sound. Oh, the Swift made that beat. Oh, that hundred on hundred on rich. Swift made that. Yeah, so. That's true. So he's starting to find it. Yeah, that's that's they showing how labels used to be in the nineties. They exactly exactly they showing like she's gonna work. Period. Absolutely. And that's how they used to move, but they that's how they're not investing in that many people. They're investing in two. Exactly. (laughs) So you want to go major, or you gonna you stay? I mean, it all depends. It got to make sense. Like I don't want to be in a situation where I gotta afford something that's not me. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna just sign no type of deal. We've been doing it on our own this long. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. if we getting radio and possibly getting tours looking at us off that, then I really don't need nobody. Yeah. We can go to an empire and do True. our thing. Yeah. But if they put the right 
number of zeros. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take. Yeah, that but then me. when you get all those extra zeros, it come with all those extra stipulations. Oh yeah, definitely. Like yeah, that's that's why when people, that's where you know people don't know, and then they end up signing three sixty, and then yeah. they end up taking yeah. a cut out of everything. Mm-hmm. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I remember they was talking when um Joe was talking to Lil Yachty, mm-hmm. and he was saying he didn't know if he had a three sixty. He probably do got a three sixty. They're probably taking a cut of that sprite. He doesn't know. He said he didn't know. He said on everyday struggle. He don't know. He said. But think about it. He got Nautica and Sprite and this and that. They. QC like, give me that, give me that, yeah, some, yeah. Of that. some of that, some of that, nah, oh, yeah. if Terrible. you sign to me for music, you getting your cut of the music, period, oh yeah, the music, and that's it, whatever that's I got after so that, that's I'm saying, so, that. we got a few lawyers working for us, so, yeah. nah, yeah. Like, it, it gotta make sense for yeah. me, absolutely, I heard somewhere, somebody say that rappers should LLC themselves, yeah, definitely, like, you know what I'm saying, it's like, why, why Fresh Eternity, we got that LLC, yeah, Good. like, stop yeah, so. outsourcing your income to, like, you're the brand, exactly, Invest into my brand. Factual. That's so, real. That's real. You I don't know. Like you definitely should. I just don't, I don't, I don't, don't know like why people majors. don't. I don't like major record labels anyway, though. It's just. Like I said, I if it like works for you, it works. Yeah. But, it, but it, if it, it don't. It really it, has to make a lot of sense. It got, like I said, yeah. it got to make a lot of sense for people to do it. Like, I, I watched how Nipsey did it. Mm. And it worked Nipsey for him. been getting it, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he could have signed for it, right? And then he, uh, I was watching where he said he was going to sign with Rick Ross. Oh, really? He was going to do it. Okay. But it was a situation going on where they was in they moved from. I think it was Def Jam over to Epic or something, and that uh-huh. changeover was going on right when he was going to sign. So that's when he was like, so he was like yeah, I wait for just yeah, because yeah. yeah. you never know what's gonna happen with that management and getting caught up. You in end there. up in a situation kind of like Omarion. Yeah, because yeah. Omarion had them records, and then they end up switching that situation, yeah. and then he got caught up in the shuffle. Yeah. Straight up, never even heard of heard his album come out. Yeah, it yeah. did. It just didn't do what it, it was supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It didn't do what yeah. it was yeah. supposed to do. It didn't add up supposed to be. Nah. Nah, you know he can make some hits. We know that. So. Right. Yeah, but that type of music is like not relevant right now anymore. What, How you R&B? It's not. You don't think so? It's really not. What? It's not. Think Where's about it. All the rappers are singing and all the singers are rapping. That don't mean you still... If you, the R&B if you, if you can make the so hit, slim. you can make the hit. R&B is so Tank got a hit. Slim. Tank. It took Tank 20 years, but Tank got a hit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love Tank. I, I, I mean, I've been know. listening. I listen to Tank forever. Yeah. yeah, but Tank got a hit. Yeah. If you got a hit, it, it don't matter. Somebody got rock with it. Yeah. Like when we wasn't it's, supposed to be the hit. Yeah, no, because he he had nah. some way better songs. Shots yeah. fired was he supposed to be the way hit. Better songs. Like two years ago, right. Shots fired with Chris Brown was supposed to be the yeah, hit. Yeah, that shit was banging too. It was. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. If you got the hit, you and Amari can produce the hit. Like Amari, mixtapes be dope. Oh yeah, this mixtapes be crap. Yeah, yeah it been fired for real. Like it's just. You gotta hit. You gotta hit at the right time. It's just the R and B lane is very, very slim. Oh, it's definitely very, slim. very slim. And what, what happened for the R and B groups? What happened to R and B groups? Did that just die? Is that like I mean, a everybody wanted to go solo? Everybody wanted, to, yeah, everybody wanted to That's go solo. Crazy. Everybody wanted to go solo, and then yeah. you, you had these different situations. Yeah. It was like you know, certain people faded out. Like you talking about like Jagged Edge and right. One Twelve yeah, and One Twelve. Like, well, Jagged Edge and One Twelve are actually touring together right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. But that's you know, that's more of our. Just that's not really yeah. us. Yeah. Like they're not really dropping the record. Oh no, I would go see that's them in, in concert. No, I'm not saying you wouldn't you see them in concert, <laughs> but I'm saying though. <laughs> no, hold on, wait a minute, I'm not that old. <laughs> when the last time you when the last time you bought a jacket edge out? Mind you, they dropped four in the last eight years. Damn, on the album for real? Or, or streamed it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> What's the when the last, what, what physical I cop, physical? Every, nobody physically goes and buys albums. Yes, you can. But you who still got Walmart. If I want to support it, I will. You can just stream it from your phone. Even with that, the last album I bought, I still downloaded it off my uh, off my Amazon yeah, Music. I still I downloaded it. No, I downloaded it. Oh, no, I so even if I switch phones or I cut off that service, I still have the music. Yeah, no. Well, yeah. see, my phones didn't have that much. Music okay, so what'd you stream? Right? <laughs> so when you download <laughs> it, it'd be taking up. Well, what memory. album did you stream? I stream a lot of stuff. What album from Jackie? I don't even know the name of the album. That's <laughs> but I don't even know the name of. What you mean? A lot of albums. Like the Jagged Edge album, did you? Was it the Remedy album that had the tip of my tongue record on it, or was it the one that had put a little um fitting on it? That was so long ago. No, I I think I might have actually had a physical copy of that. Okay, that was '09, and then the Remedy album that was like 2010, 11, and then they dropped J E Heartbreak Two. Oh wait, now, yeah, no, I, I, seen that I did right have that because we weren't streaming then. I was in college. Oh okay. I was in college then. Yeah. No, I had that one. Damn. So, I did, I did it's, been, it's been seven years since she had some Jagged Edge. <laughs> a hard copy. That's what I mean. But I don't, My I mama was still listening to Jagged Edge, yeah. faithfully. She right. go buy the album? Yeah. Like, in the store? Yeah. I just, I didn't know people my mama don't know. See, I hate my mama, my mama not the most technical person, so she might not just, uh, she not, 
she don't have title in Spotify. She's so like, she I ain't making go. my bill higher. Right. So she just go to the she's going to Target or something, or something. Yeah. and she's going to buy it. I just hate I hate CDs. Like, I just. I mean, I'm not saying I like them. Yeah. But, but I mean, if I'm gonna really support the person, and then especially if I'm paying for it, that's mine. Yeah. Like, like streaming is like you borrowing it, and then let you cancel title. You don't got it no more. Yeah. Then they. I don't have title. Or it costs too much. I mean, exactly. A lot of those things is like, so it's like... I, I, I use it. <laughs> like, yeah, if I'm going to buy it, I'm going to just buy it. Right, right. That makes just sense. Just so I can have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But more people are buying Jagged Edge or were born in the 70s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> today. Yeah. That's true. People that are buying Jagged Edge today. Like, That's true. Overall. Overall. That would go in. Did buy you buy that 112 album? That dropped last year? Mm-mm. There you go. I didn't want it. But th- it was actually dope. I didn't want it. And I know one of the members at 112. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, ouch. That's that yeah. sound bite that yeah. yeah. when she when when she do drop this show. Yeah. I mean, but I'm honest. Q like, Mike, whichever one she know gonna be like, can I be a guest? She gonna be like, no, nah, I ain't I like mean, that. I've been reading twice already, so I'm like, cool. I'm cool. So we're easy. I'm mad. We're good. We're good. We're good. So it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's it's definitely a, it's. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. Sorry. Um, I mean, sometimes you take that honesty, though. Yeah. But now nah, I thought that album was dope. The last yeah. one, twelve. I thought that was pretty. I gotta I go back and slid. listen to them because yeah. them yeah. dudes, man, they dropped some. They had some fire. But it's just kind of almost like I, I say it all the time, like when an artist or a group even hit that peak album, mm-hmm. you know, that crack moment, that, mm-hmm. or that cocaine moment, where mm-hmm. it's like you hit it and it's like what? 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 what, what was that when it dropped anywhere? Was that one twelve like crack moment? Peak. Well, that, was that it? Was it any? Was I that album about, had one twelve? Yeah, about two. But had anywhere on it. Yeah, yeah. that was that was that was, yeah. that was okay. Because yeah. you're always was, reaching for that. When hit was Jagged again. Edge? Was Jagged Edge's? Was it Je Heartbreak? Where he can't love you, or was it with a party at? Which which Ooh, album would you claim? I say Je Heartbreak. That was like no, that was better. But that was better. Where the party at was bigger. Yeah. The, like that around the barbershop when they're on the barbershop. Yeah, you gotta think about Soundtrack came out. Yeah, we traded it all. Yeah, yeah. Trade it yeah all. that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. That was like 2001, too. Yeah. Because remember, Nelly was on that. Nelly was, was on that. And he was hot. Like, it was not, yeah. Yeah, it's like it was, whenever you had that frenzy moment where people were. Oh, were you just on top? Yeah. So you and just say, always, so you just say, forget it after that? No, I'm not saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying, like, I'm oh, looking like, for the yeah. artist. I'm just saying, like, some of them, it's like once you hit that peak, they're always chasing. That peak again, but when that's that's deep though, because that's deep. Because you, that's deep cause you say music. crack. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know people that have, like they they like they call it chasing that first high. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's Literally, that's so that's deep yeah. that you say it like that, yeah. and that's yeah. real because at the end of the day, any artist, whoever it is, there's a peak moment. Even Michael yeah. Jackson, he was never going to hit that peak moment. He was at but his peak moment thrill. was the beginning. Yeah. Well, you don't no, think when Thriller, Thriller came out, that was the beginning. for Thriller. Thriller. he had Off the Wall and all of that. Yeah. And Jackson Five. But that, when was when Thriller out? come out? Jackson Five. Thriller came out in '83. He came out as an artist in a group Jackson Five like but the early seven. But Thriller came out, he was twenty, like four, four. Like that was the beginning. His adult. Yeah, was, that, that's what I mean when I say beginning. Oh, his whole adult life, he was chasing yeah. that. Yeah, his oh, yeah. whole yeah. adult yeah. life. Yeah. As far as that, yeah. Because after but that, he never got that. So you screwed it. So you screwed it. So bad, ass out. That's what you said. Oh, it's a wrap out. He'll never be as hot as you. What? No, hold on, hold on. Talent or no? Because that, hold on. You heard the last drink? His last two records is dope. His last two records is dope. You talking about that drunk off the rock? That was I dope. like it. No, I, I like hate it. She didn't like it. I hate it. I like that. Drunk Off the Rock was dope. I, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, it was dope. I, uh, yeah, it was dope. The one that record he got with Pippin. Yeah, one. that one. That no. one. You don't think he sound too much like Gucci on that, though? No, he did. He's right. First of all, Gucci ain't never rap like that. Don't do that. Gucci ain't never rap like that. Gucci sober ain't rap like that. No, I'm a Gucci fan. Okay. After Writings on the Wall, I became a Gucci fan. Because at first, it took me a long time to get on the Gucci wave. Okay. After I heard Writings on the Wall, I'm like, okay. I get it. I get it. Oh, Gucci hey. ain't never rapped like that. <laughs> like, like, like Gucci was never a but, rapper, rapper. Yeah, well, let me ask you this. Bow wow so you think ever. Bow Wow can He's be done. where he was in 2000? Oh, no. The time was different. And then this was in the 106 to Park era. Right. right. That's different. But so I'm saying he, they, with he, the... No, I'm talking about the quality of the project. I'm not talking oh, about okay. just... Okay. I'm not talking about just where you He's were. just the quality. Because... Yeah. And okay. then... because But then... The high producers don't want to work with you no more because you're not on top like that no He's, more. But you, at the end of the day, he still got money. You can make it happen. I don't care who don't want to work with you. If you, got 50, if you got it's 50 grand, if you a hottest producer and I got 50 grand, you're going to give me a beat. Yeah, it might not be the best beat I got, though. It don't matter. All you need is Mike Will made it. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> all you need is the tag. It's Bow Wow, no. Stop it. Sorry. What you mean? He's doing a gangster grill now. If that's the case, Drama shouldn't mess with him. He's doing a gangster grill right now. He's probably paying for every penny of that. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's not going to make it good, though. 
No, but that's it's the thing, though. So you saying Bow Wow drops? You saying Bow Wow still drops? Drops whack music? I can't say that. I can't Your say last it. couple green lights was I decent. Like but you gotta think about like we're used to Bow Wow in this See, that's bubble. The thing, though. And now she was little Bow Wow. She was she was You just don't know. Yeah, she was problem shaking. Oh, I love Bow Wow. I was gonna marry Bow Wow. I just knew that Sha Gregory Moss and me was gonna be together. She seemed to in the middle. The whole government though, like. You cannot tell me. Shout out to shout out to Ohio's finest, my dude. Okay. What up? What he up, dog? He don't even claim y'all. He don't even claim Ohio no more. What he you mean? No, he claimed it when he needed a pass. When he needed a pass, <laughs> <laughs> he'll pull up and be like, "Hey, look out for me." Like, I am uh, from Ohio, though. Like, yeah, no. uh, but now, nah, like, that's the thing, though. Bro, Bow can rap. It's just that it's just translating from then to now. It's like mm-hmm. that's it. That's the that's the thing. Anybody can drop a hit. Uh, uh, hit, being a hit away ain't that hard. Right. Ask Plies. Yeah, it's just keeping. Plies was over for it until yeah, ran yeah, off yeah. on the plug twice. Yeah, yeah. 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 he was. Like, uh, you, just need, you just need to go viral. Back, you just need to go viral. Instagram brought him back, yeah. yeah if you go viral. The rock joint, everybody like if that. you go viral, mm-hmm. everybody has a chance. Yeah. Everybody has a chance. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is, is that at the end of the day, oh, he still gets yeah. enough money to where he can still make it happen. He still And he still has enough of a platform to where he can make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, but he could be cool. taking so many L's. It's like between Meek and Bow, I just don't know. At the end of the day, we're still talking. At the end of the day, Meek we're still going to get 100000 in the show. Yeah, so how bad was the loss? Absolutely. The, only thing the loss saving, wasn't that bad. The, if you what, still can get hundred grand in the show. What's, what's saving everybody now is that it's so yeah, much material and content yeah, yeah, on a yeah. daily basis. It don't matter how bad you fucked up, it disappears. But for, even with that, though, like... Or, to a certain degree. But even with that, though, like, fucking up now ain't like fucking up back then. It ain't, because it was, yeah. like, locked in, and you couldn't live it down. Like, like, Richard Pryor like, still got to hear about If he was alive, he still got to hear about his hair being But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, you, know you can drop a, being on fire let shit. you drop a record. That don't matter. Last right. week didn't matter. Right. Yeah. So right. it's like you saying Bow Wow's taking a loss. I don't count Bow Wow's taking a loss. He's making a show off of them losses. Like, he got a Bow Wow challenge. I heard about mm-hmm. that. So he's getting that's millions off of a loss. That ain't a loss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is not a loss. You and that's going to be on major TV. music good. So no no so still doesn't make him a good rapper <laughs> as an adult. I heard Bow Wow and he snapped a few times. I'm like, I need the records. Give me, I ain't gonna lie, I like give that, me the that records. Rock. I hate that. I hate the video. I hate the song. I hate the met. Like it just. She just stupid. mad because she couldn't get him when she wanted. I could have got him. I'm just saying because I was at the Usher concert, the 8701 tour, and he walked through. And I you was, was like, like nine. I, no, I was like 13. I was like 13. <laughs> you was like and nine. And I had a little date with me, and I was like, exactly. Oh. That was the issue. You had a date, <laughs> and then when Bow Wow went past, you took the bag. I was standing up in and shit. I'm like, she was like, it's okay, I'm gonna get Romeo anyway. No, Romeo was younger. He was younger and he light skinned. So I didn't do it. Romeo was light skinned and he was younger. It was a no. It was a no. Now, I just feel like Bow Wow just needs to learn himself better. But that's he what he's been doing. But that's what he's been doing. But that's what he's been doing, though. The records ain't just. They still trash. Like, Drunk Off the Rock was like a personal practice. record. Yeah, don't release it. Just practice. He needs to stick he to needs doing practice. that. The L, to me, the LL Cool J uh, uh, remedy, the ingredients. Hey, Bow Wow, dude. I sell you free before 12 right now. Dude, yeah, dude. I sell, you free, I sell him free before 12. Oh, man. I sell it to him. That, that's that's his way. I sell you free before 12 right now. What's up? Yeah. Holla at me. <laughs> Freshfred at gmail.com. Uh, <laughs> I will sell him people. I can make it. You can make another. I can, I can make another. You can make another. It's <laughs> almost a shot, though, at Bow Wow. I'll tell you How? my I'll tell you my album. People I can do make it all the time. Hit. I can make another hit. People do it all the time. <laughs> so you saying Bow Wow? Be okay. careful what Cardi's record. No, I know. It, it's, it's, a, it's another song that I think Nicki Minaj about to come out with. It's like Red, uh, Red Smoke or Red Something, but uh-huh. or no Pink. But Cardi had it first. Cardi had the record first, what? and then they gave it to Nicki. Damn. Yeah, because yeah, it, it might but, not make the album and stuff like that. Yeah, you never know. It, but, but they yeah. gave it to Nicki, but they said the Nicki version is nowhere near what Cardi's version was. But I'm saying, like the no. Nicki version is whack. Man, right? look here. I sell. Look, right. I used to work at Finish Line, uh-huh. right? Right. And when I worked at Finish Line, the Flint Gray 13s came out. Mm-hmm. So I bought a pair. Right. Had them on. Finish Line, we wore blue. So it went with the uniform. Yeah. Right. Dude was like, they got any 11 and halves left. No, we ain't got none. I give you four hundred for yours. You want the box? <laughs> <laughs> Period. Period. I was, I was in the bro. I was in the. I was in. I was working, and I went. <laughs> I would buy another pair. And then we bought another pair, and then I still had a two hundred eighty dollars profit. 
it. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, would. Yeah, period. I, bro, I yeah. can make another one. Everything. Yeah, yeah everything. I already got my follow up. I already got my follow up to talk to me. I'm straight. I already got my follow up project. I'm good. You're good. Now I need help. <laughs> that was the ultimate goal. I just wanted you to admit it, and you just did because you said you gonna. No, I said no. But that's it though. I thought it was whoever. Tell you my album. Whoever wanted. If you wanted to rap tomorrow, if you had. The, I won't. I won't. If you before twelve because it's a ladies' record. Okay. And I'm a girl. <laughs> we got to get the budget. <laughs> Let's go. Bad boy got the budget. Let's go. Like what you mean? Make Bad boy got the budget. I, I we can make that shape. Give me a roll on growing up hip hop. I give you a single. <laughs> oh shit! Swap it. We'll swap it out. We'll, we'll the Jeezy boys. I'm sad. <laughs> give me a season. Bro. Just up. give me a season. Nah, Get my bookings up real quick. <laughs> you feel me? Hell yeah. Fresh right at gmail dot com. Uh, <laughs> info Plug. at princeandy dot com. Uh, shoot. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, really? we can swap that yeah. easily. Yeah. Speaking, yeah. Speaking, easily. Of, speaking of you, you know, you always got something on deck, man. We, we need to hear some of these bars, man. Bars. I mean, that's just, you want just a 16? Just you a want me 16, to go. go, whatever, just acapella. This is what it's all about. This is what the culture is about. Hey, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I do this with no effort. It's no scrimmage. I'm balling. This is greatness. Just a younger image. I stay drying the rain. I'm in the league on my own. I'm schooling these young dudes. They can't speed in my zone. I'm spitting automatic rounds. They gun is impaired. I'm quarterbacking my team one routes like government square. I'm known worldwide. Yep, it's like how Mike was throwing paper and plastic. Always good. Recycle bin. Trying to do me. The credit will be maxed out after. Six townhouses. Why they just saw these crackers. They cold as ice look. Well, I am defrosting. All my jewelry red. Yep, city of Compton. Everything red. Even my piss cherry. My candy. And nix you kids up, I call it a miscarry. I pierce through the middle, call that the Cheerio. When we pay to see my face, I'm Ray Mysterio. Nickel. Easy. <laughs> I'm Ray Mysterio. Easy. Easy. Next. Just off the top, though. Anybody that's on my personality TV, they know. They've been watching me do that for years. What? Like, yeah, I was just putting bars on before I could really make songs. Yeah. It was just punchlines. So was just straight, just straight. That's easy. That's like battle rap. Right? Kind of. No, I never battle rap. Never. But I know I watch people that do it. But yeah. it feels like I never was shoot them up, this and that. Yeah. I, I use your head as a T ball. Like, no, yeah. I never. <laughs> <laughs> like, so no, I'm people be doing that, though. They do. Money. No, people be doing that, though. Shout out to Tay Rock. I remember Tay Rock, he's my favorite battle rapper right now. Uh -huh. He said, I, okay, he said, he said, I take these gloves off and really fuck you up. I take the blade out, you get another cut and another cut. It looked like the seatbelt were working. I'm trying to buckle up. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, that's not me. I'm not that violent. I'm not that person. Damn it, another another he, he said it looked like the seatbelt won't work, and I'm trying to buckle up. Like, every so often, I, so I, I watch that. No, they motivate me for punchlines. Yeah. Not the violent no ones. No doubt, no doubt. For the punchlines, Like, not yeah. the violent ones, though. Like, that's why I say, like, I remember... Like, I got a couple of Nick Cannon punchlines. So I remember mm -hmm. when I said, my Cannon nicks you kids up, I call it a miscarry. Yeah, or I remember I said, uh, yeah. or I said, uh, black, white, white, black, black flag, white seed with the brim cranberry. Bust shot, drop the cannon like Mariah Carey. Like, you know, I can. Drop the cannon like, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I can't, yeah, yeah. like, I'm saying, I got verses just like, like, Easy E had me scared, straight out of Compton had me set up. But Magic told me I can go raw as long as I have my bread up. Like, that's, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, like, that's, like, I got them. That's easy. <laughs> That's what, but that's what, when, like, I'm gonna say, what my, like, I'm I just drop freestyles and then sometimes I just drop viral videos. And that's what those yeah. are. And that's, and like, that's just to remind cool. people, like, don't just yeah. think yeah. I do yeah. this. Yeah. I like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, was you, like, like, was you influenced by, like, Midwest or East Coast or down south? A little bit of everything because remember, we didn't, the Midwest didn't have we didn't. a sound. It was everything. We so, just grabbed on everything. Yeah. But yeah, like, definitely when it came to Bone Thugs, I listened to a lot of Nelly. He was the hottest thing smoking. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And Nelly really rapped. People really didn't know he that. He really can rap. Yeah. He yeah. really was snapping. Yeah. yeah he you got snapping. M. He was rapping. Like, oh, you absolutely. got your people, but then, but I grew up, I grew up initially, like, my first thing was Biggie. But like, that was my first my introduction to man. It was Biggie. Yeah. It was Flavor in Your Ear Remix. Absolutely. That verse. <laughs> Is woo. We, had a whole, um, we, we talked had about a whole that verse all the time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I, just, I just spit damn their whole verse just on the show. <laughs> I'm not. No, no, I don't have it. And, I, and I'm not saying pop was like not it. Like you can. It's like you. It's like I'm not a Kobe fan. Right. That don't mean I'm not saying Kobe one of the greatest. Right. right. It right. just wasn't my, my stilo. But like, That's you know what I'm saying? Right. Like we even had a thing like when the Tupac movie came out. Like, um, uh, shout out to Creed. He a promoter in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. He um we, he had a screening and then he had an after party. I performed at the after party, but you mm -hmm. had to perform a Tupac record. I performed. I get around like I made it. <laughs> like I had to dance and everything. Right, like I right. made it, so yeah. it was cool. But like I still like I still That's show respect. Like, that don't mean he, he don't have to be my number one to still respect what he did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like, absolutely.
That's how I am about Jordan. Him, I mean, like, I'm like, I was never a Jordan fan, but I know he was the best I ever did. You know what I'm saying? People are like, you wasn't I don't know Jordan. about that. Yeah, I, yeah, he's the best. I can't say, and I can't say who is or who ain't. I just don't. I never was a... Basketball. No, I love basketball. Uh, I just can't say Michael Jordan. Like, they say six for six. Like, he only played six years. Like, what happened to the other nine years, mm-hmm. bro? Yep. Like, stop yep. doing that. I yeah. hate when people yeah. say, he's six for six. Well, what happened in 84 to 90? And mm-hmm. then 95 really happened. I don't care what nobody's saying. 95, 95 really happened. happened. So you when Nick Anderson stole that from him, 95. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't have accident. Don't have accident. Don't have That's like He wasn't even playing the whole season, bro. That's he like, that's like me saying I have a bad show. I know I got a show. I got to come prepared. Period. So, don't do it. You, so you compare performing on the stage to basketball and, and the level bro, of you have to be on basketball? I've, I've driven eight hours, did okay. a show, and okay. drove right back here. And so, yeah. I have too, but yeah. 17 games. You mean to tell me he was in shape? What you mean? You not he, he in shape. Baseball is the same as running up and down the court playing basketball. That's, that's you, two different hey, kind of. You, make you, you made the choice, Bill. If you, you, make, the you make the choice, that's what you got to do. That, that's that's true. But at the end of the day, he always that did. Don't act like I'm just saying. People okay, act like that happens. Let me ask you this: Wait, he what played, happen? If he played 94 and 95 from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, you mean to tell me the Bulls weren't gonna win them two chips? I don't know. Them Houston Rockets was not that good. It wasn't. They only won when they played the Knicks and the Orlando team. Now hold on. It wasn't that the Houston Rockets was or wasn't that good. Good. Yeah. Styles make fights. Okay. They never had to play Houston. Houston was the first team to have one big man and all shooters. True. But they were also a seventh seed both those years. They weren't a number one seed in the West. Styles, even one of them years. Styles make fights. They weren't the best team though. But Chicago never had a center. Never. So that was going to be a problem. Because Green was going to give them the work. That's and true. then when Michael doubled down, yeah. Kenny Smith was going to hit the three. That's true. Vernon Maxwell was going to yeah. hit the three. Sam Cassell was going to hit the three. Was gonna, Dream was it gonna wasn't going to be. A, it wasn't going to just be a that's wash true. like like that's it was. True. That, that would have been their hardest matchup. It was, I think. I agree with that. I agree with that. I but still so, think the Bulls. So, so, so I ain't a Bulls. So, so you saying it would have been their hardest matchup. So if they won almost every one in six, that means it would have been seven. That's a toss-up, sir. If it would have went to seven. We, we you said know. if that's the hardest matchup and every other one they did was six, yeah, a harder matchup would make it seven. It's possible. It's a toss-up. But it's a toss-up. But if it's in Chicago or if it's in Houston, don't you think the home court advantage plays a part in that? No. It's usually Michael Jordan won rings all, uh, on other no. people's court all the time. But he won the first two or three games in the series also. That's why it was easier to win the no, ring home. Not all the time. They're very rare. They, 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 they lost game one when he was going magic, and that's when he switched to Kobe. Uh, that's when he switched to Scottie Pippen going magic. Oh, yeah. And then they <laughs> won the next like, four. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. But yeah. they, you don't you don't always start off like in the it. driver's seat. I love this. You don't always start it. off in the driver's yeah, seat. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I, yeah. I'm just saying like, I got you. I'm I got not you. saying I got you. Jordan because he's not even the most accomplished. That's Kareem. It is. He is the most accomplished. But overall, as far you as you can say impact and all of that stuff, right? Cool. The whole thing. Cool. I give you that. The whole thing. I'm just. I'm, I can't just and, give and, six for six. And, and, like, this, and this is another thing I go by as a as watching as a sports guy. You had to from day one. All the way to the end of your career, be the best player on your team at all times. Kobe wasn't the best player his whole career on the same team. I dare you Sha- to say LeBron wasn't. I dare you to say LeBron. Of course, wasn't. of course. Oh, I'm about to was. say. No. LeBron's still the best today. Yes, I know like LeBron, LeBron has the longer prime. But my point, but is I'm Kareem, not even saying LeBron is. The, I'm, I'm not even saying LeBron is better than. But my point is, Kareem well, wasn't. Stuff, man, you're but my point is, Kareem wasn't. There was times when years when Magic was the best player on that team. And okay, so Magic was the best player on his team his whole career. So you wouldn't give him? Nah, wouldn't. I don't think not. Nah, Kareem's uh, Magic's first year as a rookie. Kareem was the best player. as the MVP. He got hurt. Magic went for forty-four who points. Won? Who won it? Because who won it Kareem won? was out, and who Magic won? Magic did. That ma- but do you think Availab- Kareem, availability is your best ability? Absolutely. But he was Kareem at that point was in the middle of his career. It was nineteen eighty. He played twenty years. That was yeah. dead middle. He was in his prime. He was better than Magic, but as you years can, went on, what can Magic you prove? But what player. can you prove, though? You can prove that Magic was the reason that they won that ring. Oh, game. absolutely! So that absolutely. counts as Magic. Yeah, that counts. But that counts as Magic. But Kareem, what happened? Eighty one. Eighty one. They lost. So obviously he wasn't the best because they lost to Blue Boston. But they had that Kareem ball. and Magic though. But that's what I'm saying. Like you yeah. said, if Kareem no, no, I said, I said, I said, no. My point is, y'all make our last no, points no. here. Yeah, no, my I point gotta is. act like it's the ring. Yeah, 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 y'all yeah, gonna no, talk about is. this the rest of the show. No, 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 no. But my point is, because I feel like to be the best ever, you have to be the best player on your team from day one to the end. LeBron is that guy. So bigger. So it's Jordan and LeBron, and that's it. That's it. Because every other player you name. There was okay. a time when okay. he wasn't will, the best I'm player on the though. team. I won't agree with you with that. Like, how can you play on the team and be the best ever? We're going to cut out. We're going to cut out. Because that, that, that's, 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 that's a really, really. That's a deep, that's a that's deep one. It's deep, though. But that's a deep one. Jordan and LeBron are the only two players from the day they stepped on the court to the day they retired. Because when LeBron retired, he'll be the best player on this team. 
No other guys did that. Ron Retire still might be top 10 in the league. Mm. Absol- matter of fact, he's going to be top two to me. No, I'm saying, no, in the league, like, like right now he's still quote-unquote number one. Yeah. He will still be a top 10 player oh, in the exactly. NBA when he retires. Yeah, I have no arguments for that. He's the best. Like, there's no, and, that's, and I say this argument, too. We had this the other day. I say Jordan is the greatest from overall, you know, but I say LeBron's the, the best, best overall. Because there's nobody playing the sport, ever playing the, sport. playing the sport of basketball. Nobody does the entire thing better than him as far as rebounding, passing, and scoring. Mark nobody Jackson ever, said he going to retire with a triple-double. He's going to retire with 40,000, 10,000, 10,000. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Amazing, man. That's crazy. Amazing. Man. And people hate on him so much, but the thing about it, at the end of the day, to be that good, to come in the league as a kid, Never have no off the Ever. court issues. Be a perfect family man. From what we can see, we don't know what really that came out. That it would have been came out. Somebody would have got somebody, a big bag somebody, bag. somebody, somebody was, was gone. Baby. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> too fucking emotional. No, but somebody would have put that out there. In this day and age, you got you was the one LeBron side chick. <laughs> no, I mean, what? you got to decide the whole baby thing with the sports with the caster chick, girl. The girl yeah. that's on that's yeah, who actually that's the girl that's moved to Miami. Atlanta she moved to Miami. Yeah. It was a lot Prove of it. Chick, Prove yeah. it. I mean, they would never tell it for sure. They're like, oh no, we're just. Man, it don't even matter, man. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> Black men don't cheat. <laughs> cheat. I'm saying we get set up. I need you to get off of the hey, Instagram. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> uh, who, who Kevin, 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 Kevin Hart got raped. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? Uh, Carlos and 85 South and all of them. Man, look. I'm Black telling you. Don't cheat Kevin, Kevin Hart got raped. That's the hey, I, hey, I ride with it. Kevin Hart. I ride with so it. And it's going to be my last Tristan? question. I ride what with happened with Tristan? He ain't black. He's from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Canada. Wow. He's from Toronto. That don't count. So, he, black he, he Drake. He Drake. He's that don't right. count. That don't so count. African Americans don't cheat. I can't say that because you never know because the Kimbe Potombo was cheating. He's an African American. <laughs> black He's American. a real life. Black Americans. African. Black American men. Like I said, like I said, people were talking about, like, like, I look at the Kevin Hart situation, right? Yeah. And I ended with that. Kevin Hart was intoxicated. Didn't know he was on camera. It was more than one person of the same sex that was his size or bigger. You put a woman in that situation, they would say she got raped. Yeah. Are you done? It's a lot of women that went to college. There's a lot of women that went to college and they was in a dorm room with football players and they would have said that was rape if they was intoxicated and didn't know they was on camera. Yeah. Where's the lie? Yeah. Where's the lie? He is a that's man. Crazy. Where is the lie? So, so you, so you're a married man. Oh, with that's all how you feel. Women. That's how you feel. Oh, uh, so, so why that's are you, you generalizing the men? You? Are you sexualizing yes, him? I am. Me too. Are you sexualizing him? Hashtag. <laughs> no. Hashtag me too. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, as a man that he got raped. married, he got raped. You should never. He was intoxicated. Him. Why would she you took advantage of him? Bullshit. How? Bullshit. Women can say it every day. How come he can't? Did he say it? No. No, he's he just pressing charges. He admitted to He's cheating. pressing charges. He had to say, <laughs> no, he had to say the right thing. It's his wife. He gotta he gotta be like, look, I he messed up. He's a whole J. Cole video. Bro. Admitting that he cheated and he fucked up. No, he can admit it he fucked up, but he was intoxicated and that's when you don't count what you do against you. That's what they do. Like if, let me let me be drunk and shoot somebody. I can say that that was incidental manslaughter and my charge will be less. I'm not saying that that is not right. What I'm saying is why did you put yourself in that situation? He was intoxicated. Me? So that gives you a pass to do fucked up shit to that, No, I'm not saying it gives you a pass. I'm saying, <laughs> it's, less, saying. I'm saying it's less of a crime. What, no, I'm saying it's, it's less not of a crime. less of a crime. It is. It is you don't get as much time for murder as you do for vehicular homicide. You don't get as much time. You don't get as not much time. not a lesser crime. He got raped. It's not a lesser crime. <laughs> not a lesser crime. You're not proving me wrong. Kevin Hart got raped. Kevin Hart got raped. Tristan ain't black. He's Canadian and African. <laughs> So it don't count. He, black, black he's African Canadian. African. He's African Canadian. African black, Canadian. Men, black men don't cheat. Prove it. Prove it. I can give you a whole list. Of Let's go. Prove, prove it. it. We'll give me one more. We don't even have another. You got time. one. We got time for one more. Give me one more. Because she said Tristan too. Who's and then that don't count because that went on a black woman. That's her fault. <laughs> Didn't you see what happened to the last woman? How you get the man is how you, how you lose the man. Now, I agree with now, that. That's, now, that's I ain't gonna lie, though. And last but time Tristan cheated, sure Cleveland got a ring. Yeah. Keep doing it. <laughs> <Keep> <laughs> Ohio <laughs> against the world, boo. <laughs> I gotta win this chip and I gotta cheat on hey, you. Yo. I don't care if you're in the I seen that on Instagram. Instagram. It was like the last time Tristan got a ring, uh, Tristan cheated on the pregnant girlfriend. It was in with the championship. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like we need that. <laughs> he came in and had 14 points, 12 rebounds right off the rip. I was like, yeah, boy. Yeah, Toronto wasn't ready for you. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> in Toronto, right. of all the places, right? Right. Oh, man. Yeah, right. That's See? too funny. See? Too funny. Yeah, I'm just Black men absolutely Black cheat. men do not cheat. Y'all ain't shit. Black men do not cheat. Black I tell people I ain't shit. I tell, I'm going to tell my daughter when she's of age. I'm mm-hmm. like, look here. Most of us ain't shit. I still may not be shit. Don't fall for this shit. And that's it. That's it. I say that. Word for word. I tell my daughter that all the time. Why? Because black men cheat. No, we don't. You can't prove it. I have to prove it. You can't prove it. That was a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. It was a hologram. That was a two-part hologram. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. I would no. pay to see that. Kevin Kevin Hart didn't cheat. Tristan ain't black. We can keep going. All the little scandals. <laughs> Look, who's, who's black the last scandals. cheater? Who right? was the last scandal? Who got busted? Michael Blackson. Of course uh, he ain't black. Yeah. That don't count. He's African. <laughs> He's African. So Africans cheat. No, no, we talking about African. We talking about black. We say black Americans. Black Americans. The African Americans, they got eight wires. That still ain't cheat. <laughs> they used, they used, they used to have a concubine. <laughs> that don't count. <laughs> that don't count. Now, he going to his own religion. If you married a black American woman, it does count as cheating. He wasn't married to Georgia. He wasn't married to Georgia. <laughs> don't matter. You with her. And he's still not black, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> look, look, then you gotta go back to that. Debate. No, you call me. I'm, I, I'm I, taking I, a goat. You want me to die? <laughs> see how you do? You sexualizing me and trying to black, kill me? Because black men see that too. violence? You see that? I'm trying to buckle up. <laughs> see that? See that? Now, if I were to say light skin, oh, you, if I were to say light skinned women do us dirty, then that would be wrong. We just leave y'all on red. That's all. And that's when they, no, that's, no, when, that's, no, that's, no, that's when people get no, bored. No, that's, no, no, that's when I don't follow. No, like, if, no, I, no, if no. I text back, if I text you, if I, if I notice I text you and you didn't respond, I'm not texting no more. <laughs> I'm not. And then that's when I get the. But that's when I be the. What happened? You ain't hit me. Yeah, I did. Oh, and so now you be looking for people to make up the lie. You be looking like. Oh, yeah, like, no, March I don't even ask why like, you ain't text me back. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't even ask. No, you don't ask, but it be people that be in situations where they want to yeah. be next to me when it's convenient. Oh. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I be like, and I could have just been hitting you up on the humble. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm it's super like, cool. I'm super like that. Like, let me know you in a certain area. And mm-hmm. I see them be like, yo, what's up? Come over here. We're yeah. chilling. Like, not on no type of nothing. Right. So if I'm just reaching out just because I'm a, a quality dude, right. I'm just reaching wow. out just. Wow. I am a quality dude. I'm a quality dude. No. my home. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> black men don't cheat. And I was a whore in the past. So it's like, that's the thing. I'm not stressing it now. Like, so I'm not like in Atlanta. Like, oh my God. Ooh, Atlanta. All this ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I moved down here in a relationship. That ended. But I still, oh. like. I'm still in my late 20s. I've been there, done that. That's not really a thing to yeah. where it's like, I can be in a company and say, hey, come lunch. Come have lunch with us. Mm-hmm. We kicking it. I play you some music, X, Y, and Z. We run past ideas and just build. That I can do that. Mm-hmm. So like you said, that's not a big deal to me. So if I'm reaching out like that, yeah. and then it's like, you left me on red, that, you block your blessing, boo. <laughs> See, hey. you got to ask me to text me someone, so I'm hungry. You should have came and ate. Right. Like, I'm <laughs> text you gonna, me back. Like, you're going to be like, you're going to be like, because I reached out to a few people Um, we uh when Chase was down here a couple weeks ago. We was okay. at Wet Willie's. So yeah. I was like, hey, come to Wet Willie's, drinks on me. Uh-huh. I ain't say, hey, boo, I want to see you, this, this, and this. All I literally said was, come to Wet Willie's, drinks on me. Ain't up. nobody hit back. All but right. then when we was in a club that night, well, where was my invite? It was at 4 o'clock. See, that, and I'm trying to be nice inviting you through the day. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you ain't thinking I'm trying to fuck you. <laughs> so it won't be a problem. Like, I don't, like, that's not coming out about me that I was doing. No, that's not yeah. coming out about me later in life when I'm successful. No, right. When, right. You're cheating, when you're out here cheating and stuff. Why I gotta be out here cheating? <laughs> when you become successful, apparently you get a pass to cheat. No, I, I didn't say no. You said people cheat. I said Canadians cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I said Canadian, uh, Canadian Africans Hashtag cheat. Canadian Africans cheat. But black African, black no, American, black American, men, black American men don't cheat. So black American women cheat. Yeah. This the bullshit. <laughs> we really appreciate. I've been cheating on. It's because you're a Pisces. We all get cheated on. It's okay. No. Nah. If you're a Pisces, you <laughs> nah. Get that's on. just now nah, just women. At some point. Now nah, just women ain't shit. Cause they, cause, cause, cause we ain't shit. But they know how to not be shit way better than us. Oh, they don't get caught. Yeah. So yeah, yeah y'all way worse than us. So yeah. I would not disagree with you. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's absolutely. Like right. I get. Where was you at? I was at Chris house. I seen Chris with his girl the other day. Like <laughs> they be having the story with the story with the story. Look here, girl. This was the plan. This you was the map. All three friends this was, this was the leave. look. And they cahoots, like yeah. they they didn't they didn't made they they didn't they didn't geotag themselves to say they were somewhere else. <laughs> they didn't posted a picture with the outfit that they wore last week, but didn't post it last week. So they posted it this week. And when she coming out, she gonna have on the outfit for last week. When she coming out, <laughs> trust me, I been peeped the game. I was raised by women. I seen it yeah. before Instagram. So of course I know how y'all do it now. Yeah, yeah it's another. I mean, level. all my cousins are men, men, and they all live in like Ohio and Colorado. Yeah. So yeah, I know the game. <laughs> so, you I just, so I play it better. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying, black men don't cheat. 
Black men are hey, the devil. Hey, I ain't. If you learn anything today, learn Prince Natty's next. They don't know talk to me. And black men don't cheat. <laughs> While you're at it, give everybody all your social handles. Everything is at Prince Natty. Google me. <laughs> Everything is at Prince Natty. No matter what music service you have, it's all at Prince Natty. Yeah. Everything is literally that. PrinceNatty.com. Uh, free Before 12 coming in July. Speed dating is coming fourth quarter. Yeah, fourth quarter. Period, period. First, second, third, fourth quarter. Period. No, because I don't have a date. I don't no, want to lie. Yeah, like, I don't want to say Thanksgiving and I got to push it back. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, and then, you know, people will be like, I thought you were pushing it back. Niggas F Prince and Addy. Like, I get that. Oh, Niggas will say it. Appreciate yeah, you having you come, you come through, man. Yeah, we had man. A, a great discussion yeah, here, you know that, what I'm saying? Y'all niggas off, y'all wasn't talking about Hey, hey, hey. Only one because we both came to the same consensus. Yeah, yeah. That is just not unified. Yeah, that, it you know, unified. Every, what, what right. everything, everybody think is unanimous. So, right. I mean, right. you got to just be able to have the debate. Like, it's, you can yeah. and not let people get theirs off and not just, well, you're wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Nah, absolutely. That's absolutely. you got to be able to get it off. Absolutely. And I learned a lot. I learned absolutely. a lot. I learned uh, light-skinned women ain't shit either. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Why not? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, look at her. See, she look at her. She like she look like your sixth grade teacher that's gonna teach you stuff, and she ain't she, she, she wasn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> she had the math teacher and the social studies teacher. She wasn't shit. <laughs> oh, she, she had eight people buying her lunch. She ain't buy lunch all year. <laughs> she ain't had no money in her account. <laughs> she ain't had no money in her account <laughs> ever. <laughs> hey, light skinned women are you know wonderful people. So Y'all right. Awesome. Y'all yeah. right. You can't live with They're all unstable. <laughs> it's because go. black men cheat is why Don't we're do unstable. That. Don't, do that. Don't do that. Black men come in, fuck up your life, and walk the fuck out. And then Look, you like, hold on. Nigga. First of all, I didn't cheat. But the time what, I was what, shut what? up and confused <laughs> was after I got done dirty. Was after I got done dirty. Wow. After I got done dirty. Who anybody, hold on. Anybody who's an ex or something, comment. <laughs> I didn't do them dirty. Before that certain point, oh, oh, okay, that? Okay. that I got done dirty, yeah. that I was a good guy, and I got done dirty. No, back no, to no, back, it's not the girl's fault. It's not yes, the it girl's girl fault. Hey, it be like that. When see, she did the knee, see. I done deal back to the next. See, that's fucked up. <laughs> we don't do that. We don't do that. Well, okay, wait. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we, go ahead. My platform reach. Have somebody commenting like she lying. <laughs> yeah, let me. Yeah, no. She got dudes saving her phone is free food, but she talking <laughs> I shit. I don't though. But I don't. Free food. But she got free food. <laughs> <laughs> I just know who I can call. She just know. She got them saves on a certain class. Like, like, um, pay week. <laughs> like, she like, yo, it's pay week, but I got bills due. Let me text him. What Let me see what's up. What you doing? No, what you... ladies, what they don't realize is, like. We understand when nah. you, if you text us what you doing randomly on a Friday at 6 o'clock. We know what y'all doing. What you trying to do? You trying to do something? No. Yeah, I don't hear you. I don't even I'm... go on dates. So I'm like, I don't even, you know, whatever. I don't. I've probably been on like three. Three dates this year? No, just in general. What do you call a no, date? Yeah, three like, dates. Like, hey, I want to take you out to dinner. Date. In your life? Yeah. Well, first of all, a lot of people don't say that though. Some people just say, hey, pull up, let's eat. No, I haven't got that either. Sorry. Yeah, no. So, so okay, uh, see, look, but then that would lead to a situation where if I was to say that, she would be like, she would look at me funny, but and I'm like, <laughs> I, it's a regular shit to you. It's, it's regular shit to me. I'm really just trying to eat, see what's up. Yeah, no. Yeah. See, so then, see that'd be see. That's what women mess up. See, see that. See. No, it's cause fuck niggas, cause black men cheat. What black men cheat got to do with you not going on a date? Because if anything, he wasn't cheating at all. No, no, no. They were taking other people out. They, so who was he cheating on? Them or you? Me. Hold up. So the guy they took with, them out and didn't yeah, take you out. Yeah, they was cheating that. on them. So the guy that you was with wasn't y'all. I've wasn't only going had on like dates. like two real boyfriends. Oh. It's about to get real. It's about to get real. Okay. It's about to get real. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk off camera because this interview has gone extensively long here, and it, for some reason I don't know how it always gets back to my life. It, do, it, do. it always circles. And back. I be like, look, it, y'all fans gonna like, be like, yo, we learned a lot about her. <laughs> right. No, it's Have every week. Chris, need to come back on the show, boy. <laughs> every week it'd be like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like that. I don't know how so they turn into therapy sessions for her. It does. A oh while of fix, she, her know. figuring out what happened to make her go that way. I don't know why. Oh, man. Yeah, because yeah. black men cheat, you know, whatever. Yeah, black men don't cheat, bro. Woo. Come on, tell me where. When? <laughs> Prove it. I got one, but I can't talk about it on air. Nah. Why? Because you Did helped you cheat? Because you, know. you helped him cheat? No, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. 
You didn't but know. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. I know. But I didn't know. He cheated. Uh, he cheated. Yeah, Ooh. not on well, me. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, so he didn't cheat. Oh, so he, who he cheat? What, what's his nationality? He has, then? He has, no, he black. Okay, he, well tell the black. situation. He Don't say black. his name. He no. Uh-uh. Tell the situation. Uh uh-uh. uh. See, that's so how you know. About it. See? He know. See? See? But he See? knows the situation. Tell it then. Am I right? I know. Tell it then. Black men cheat. That that situation is. Black men cheat. It's hard. We had to do that off camera, and then you know. I'm gonna come back. It's bars and beyond, the stars is aligned Sports, relationships, and rap They said it would be hard to combine Part in the shine Pick them out and we find the largest to climb